guys. So today I am going to be teaching my students how to do paper mache. And so I thought this would be a great time to kind of share that with you. Um, if you've never done paper mache, it's um, pretty simple, um, you know, just, just for the basics. All you need is a flour, balloons, um, glue to mix with your flour, or you can do water, something to steer it with, and strips of paper. These are all um, recycled pieces of paper that you will use to um, make your paper mache with. The balloons are going to be your base. Um, I'm going to do um, an easy uh, jack-o'-lantern um, with them to show them just as something that's simple. So all I need is one balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and blow that up and uh, show you how to get started. Okay, so I have um, my balloon. I blow it up to um, whatever size. You can blow it up to how big or how small you would like it. Um, I have a bowl just to kind of help me place it in. You could start on either side. But what I like to do, I also have my paste. Um, so I actually mixed glue and water to form this kind of like, you know, little soupy. Um, not too soupy, you still want, to be, want it to stick um, to be able to put on there. Now you will get messy with this. You can wear gloves. I don't particularly like wearing gloves. I like to get messy. But what I do, um, take my little strips of paper. I run it through my little pa my paste. Squeeze it off. And then wherever I'm going to start, that's where I'm going to place my strip and start putting it down. And sorry, um, the angle's kind of bad on this. So I'm going to try to work with it the best I can. But I'm going to start going around and smoothing this out. Now your balloon will probably try to fly off. You just got to be a little bit patient with it. Once the cup, once the layers start going on, it'll um, start uh, being weighed down. Now you want to leave a spot to where you can pop your balloon because you're going to pop your balloon to take it out when it's all dry. But I just go along and take my paper. Oh, like I said, your balloon's going to want to go everywhere. And sometimes it helps without the um, bowl as well. And you're just, like I said, continuously go around, smooth it out. Maybe you want your hole a little bit smaller up top. And if your pieces look too big and they're not laying down correctly, kind of getting bunched up, you can uh, make your pieces smaller. Now you want to do a couple of layers, so you'll probably get probably about midway, depending on um, where you want to just stop to let it dry. We normally take a couple of days doing these, because you want to do a couple of layers at least. I would say a minimum of three layers, just because you want it thick, like you want it hard. If you only have one, it's going to be too soft to do anything with. So I'm going to go go ahead, um, put my layers, probably, I'll probably stop, let it dry, um, and then go flip it over and do the bottom side of it. Okay guys, so I have layered my balloon with all my, um, with all my strips of paper. Um, you want to make sure it's not pressing in anywhere. You want to make sure it's nice and hard. Like I said, 
Um, this is a minimum of three layers. And now I'm going to take the balloon, I'm going to pop it. So I can take that out and just do it easy like this. I don't want to crack anything. Make sure all that comes out. base I'm gonna start constructing um, I thought I was gonna do a lantern I think I'm actually going to do a pig so let's see how this goes okay so I have the rest of my supplies I need um, I have my my paste I'm actually using toilet paper rolls just cut toilet paper rolls for the um, the snout and the legs and all I do uh, for the legs I just take a toilet paper roll I cut them in half and then um, so two rolls will give you you know four legs cut up a little bit off of another one and then I simply um, take these and I put a little bit of hot glue on them To kind of you know where you know keep it in place before I go do the paper mache back over them and the snoot is going to go right here right over that hole kind of hold it there come back around with the hot glue and I go around the edges just to give it a nice seal and like I said you're going to go back over with the paper mache and smooth all of this out so I'm going to go ahead get this going put the legs on So I got all my paper mache back on here. Um, I'm going to show you how to do his little piggy tail. Um, let's see everything. It's now paper mache. I normally take, um, you can use a pencil, marker, um, anything like that. But I take a strip of paper, run it through my mix, my paste. And then I start wrapping it around either a pencil, marker, and I'm going to leave it a little bit. Um, just to be able to, to secure it onto my pig. But I start wrapping, giving him his little, his little curl to his tail. And then I simply slide it all off like this. And then I place it where I want his little, his little tail to be. And you can put it however you would like. This didn't come out perfect, but put it down, his little tail. And if you want to take another little strip of paper and go straight over that, just to kind of hold it more in place. So there you go. So now I'm going to let everything dry and then paint my little paper mache pig. And once your little pig dries and you paint them, this is what it should look like. And you can do whatever color. Um, I just did the pink. 
his little um, his little no uh, nose holes, his little eyes. You can do however you want to. If you want to do a smile, um, you want to you know do pink and purple hearts or have it black, whatever color you want to, whatever color scheme is totally up to you. But these are super fun. I mean, pretty hard. There you go.